Hey everyone, Richard Cannell from Small Island Gardener. I made an episode the other day about strawberry spinach, just sort of explaining what it is a little bit, and it was good, but there was some more information that was really important that I just have to share, and that is how to use it. Because if you search the internet, you're going to get so many reports of people saying, oh, this plant isn't very delicious at all. Those clusters, they look way better than they taste. They just taste like beets and they're not even that sweet. And you know, the thing is, they're probably right. And so I want to share with you some information that can give another outcome because these plants are truly delicious. And I want to show you what I do to enjoy them. Basically, you'll know it's time to harvest when they're so heavy that everything just falls over. Stems are bending and breaking. And the, the buds here are just really heavy, nice and dark. And when you brush your finger against it, it just bursts with juice. So what I'm going to do with these is cut them all off and then I'm going to let them dry because these actually get a lot sweeter and develop more of those fruity flavors when they've been dried. And here's what was harvested from this big patch here. You'll notice that there's still a lot of buds left, but they're not really ripe enough to bother with. They'll ripen quick enough. This looks so nice though. So many clusters, they're so juicy. And all these leaves, I wanna pluck them all off before I dry these buds and uh, cook with them later on. I'm gonna boil them up. Boiling them is a really good idea because there's oxalic acid in here. And that's a great way of getting rid of, if not neutralizing most of it. Makes it quite safe and healthy to eat. And very delicious. It is so good after it's been boiled or steamed. So anyways, I'm going to get to work and take off these leaves and get ready for the next step. And there you have it. With a little media magic, the leaves have been separated from the buds. And this weighs multiple pounds. It's very impressive, the yield that just about uh, 10 plants or so gave and there's still more to come. Now, the leaves, I just want to share that if you're harvesting the plant for its leaves, you don't necessarily want to wait till the time of harvesting the buds because these leaves have been there for a while and they are spent. So they just don't taste as good. They're not as thick. They're just, I don't think they're as nutritious and likely they're not as tasty, but I'm going to cook with these anyways and uh, report back to you. Anyways, it's time to move on to the next step. So... I'm going to dry a bunch of these, uh, and I will also show the final product of what this is like once it's boiled. So here is the final product. It is a cooked strawberry spinach greens dish, and all I had to do was boil the leaves in some salted water, strain it, uh, fry it on a medium heat with some olive oil and garlic. This is so delicious. I know this is just a tiny bowl in my hand, but I was munching on this the entire way through. It is so good, I couldn't resist. So yeah, I highly recommend growing this plant, even if just for the greens. It is spinach-like, it is easy to grow, easier than spinach, and it thrives in uh, summertime heat, unlike spinach. So I find it's more forgiving, and in the end, I actually get more of a yield from these plants than I do when I grow spinach. I'm not very good at growing spinach. So, yep, this is what it's like. Highly recommend it. All right, I just wanted to share something quickly. They've been dehydrating here for a couple days and they are doing so well. They are quite slow to dehydrate though because I decided to leave them on the stem. You see, I could have taken them off and they would have dried much quicker. But when you leave it on the stem, there's a lot of nutrition and moisture stored in the stem and that all gets transferred into these clusters. So while it's dehydrating slowly, so do the flavors. Uh, they, they develop quite well. They get sweeter, these clusters, I mean, and they this is when their flavor starts to become more fruity because uh, when they're underdeveloped, they can be a bit beady. So this is, I think, 
a very necessary step for uh, for making these as delicious as possible. And here we are a few days later. As you can see, the stems are dry, quite crispy, and it's actually very easy to take these off because you can see most of them have already come off. Now there's so much, hold on, I'm just trying to focus here. Yeah, there we go. So there's so much sugar in here that they still have a little give to them, even though they've been out for days and everything is totally crispy here. Uh, that just sort of tells you how sweet it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, like this, they are so delicious. At this point, you could just eat them like candy. Oh, one last thing about these. Uh, these clusters here, they do contain a lot of seeds, but the plant is in the amaranth family and the seeds are very small and they're quite easy to chew. Uh, some people don't like eating them because you feel it in your mouth and also they do have a few saponins and so some say that it's not a good idea to eat that many. But to sort of give you a reference, I have eaten probably like three handfuls like this at a time and I have felt just fine. So I wouldn't worry about it. If you rub it in your hands like this, you'll notice that a whole bunch of the seeds are just coming right out. And it's not affecting the clusters that much, like the part that you would want to eat. So, oh yeah, look at that. See all those seeds there? That happened from doing what I just did there for only a minute or two and so now all these seeds are not going to be in there which just makes it a little bit more pleasant all right so that about wraps it up thanks a lot for hanging around as i just ramble on about this plant i ramble because i like it it's easy to grow it's absolutely delicious it's very nutritious it's beautiful it just checks all the boxes and it makes me so excited about it that i just had to share it with you guys so hopefully you found some useful information in this video and would like to try growing this plant yourself if you do i have a link in the description below that will show you exactly where you can get some seeds i grow them myself as you can see i have many of them and i'm happy to provide them so uh, once again this is richard cannell from small island gardener until next time take care bye